All right, we're here for another set of FT Arena matches. And on top, we have Eternal 248's team, uh, Tactics Ogre, on top. And on bottom, Durian Toki's team, Model Citizens. Uh, Eternal has Katua, the, the uh, Time Age, Azo Stan, the Ninja, Hobby Rim, the Samurai, and, and Ari Cell, the Archer. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Meanwhile, uh, Durian Toki has. Jaqueta Wheeler, the Time Mage. I Tomi I Naga, the Scholar. Jessica Stam, the Mediator. Thanks for correcting me and how her name should have been. So thank you very much, Durian Toki. And Andre Pajik, the Monk. Uh, Eternos team pretty much has uh, a somewhat a somewhat balanced team, I guess at best, when it comes to absorbing all kinds of damage as much as they can. Uh, short charge time mage with white staff, so I guess uh, she's hoping for a dia proc. Uh, kind of flooding ninja with sight Tiemson for auto shell. Actually, both of them have auto shell. Actually, two ninja knives. So I'm guessing he can uh, increase the uh, odds for weapon breaks, which I'm guessing are 50 50 at best. Attack up samurai with auto protect and an item bot archer. And for Darian Toki. Uh, looks like an Earth-based team. Two of them can, uh... What did I say? Yeah, two of them can either absorb Earth while the other two, uh, negate Earth. So, it's a bit, so it's a bit of a balanced out, uh, team that Durian Toki has. And basically it's all, um, Earth elemental based damage, whether it's draw or lore, for healing and damage and negating. So that's very interesting to see. Round one between Eternal and Durian Toki would be going to map 117. Checkboard land one. We'll find out how this one goes. And they're evenly across from one another too, kind of. Eternal in the red and Durian Toki in the yellow. Ice three proc off the bat. Damage split though. Archer's gonna fly away. See, Demi two. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to go off uh, in time. No, because Sinkhole might be coming. Kiku heal. Alright, Andre Project. Going to go for a spear shot. A poke. Sinkhole, good job. Let's get a particular generator, though. Itami Naga is going to go for a spell. Masamune. Looks like a quake. Not for a lot of damage, though. Weapon break hits. That's actually very good for uh, Eternal here. The Archer is uh, kind of low on uh, HP right now. Jaquita Wheeler is going to go for a stop. 66% stop onto the Archer. Kiku Andre Project is going to go forward. Poke. Samurai can't do much. Demi 2 thankfully misses the Ninja. Stop hits. And stop kills the archer, however, she will get raised too, perhaps. Silence proc on the monk. And down goes Jaquita Wheeler, the time mage. So Eternal is trying to uh, tank his way through victory here. Mimic Derivon misses. Monk's forced to chakra himself. I mean, Naga's gonna go for a raise two of her own. Uh, Katua's gonna go for a demi two. Is the only offensive move I know she knows. High potion on Azor Stan. Raise two on the time age, which works. Bobby Rim's gonna go forward. 137 damage. Demi two. Hits the scholar. Damage splits though. Azor Stan once again. Killing the time age. Kiku. And a counter flood. No darkness proc. Durian Toki not quite able to um, put Eternal's team away as of yet. There's kind of a bit of a resolute right now. Arrow combined with the Demi 2 kills the uh, draw mediator. Raise 2 in the time age once again. But I believe her CT may have already passed. No, not quite yet. I was just going to say her CT may have passed by, but she, just, but she does get the turn. So they go for a double panel stop. Poke. Damage split. Katua's gonna go for a demi two. One stop only hits. 
Count Flood. No slow proc. Demi 2 hits, so Eternal uh, is looking pretty good so far. Darian Toki is still in a bit of a resolute. Jaquita Wheeler is going to go for a fairy. Uh, Demi 2? Oh, Haste 2, actually. I'm sorry. I thought she was going for a fairy. Demi 2 did miss the monk. Down goes, uh, Time Age once again. Andre Project's gonna go forward. Poke the Sam- uh, not the Samurai, the Archer, sorry. For 197 whooping damage. Now she's gonna go for Fairy. High other under the Time Age, making sure that, uh, she stays alive. That she's able to, uh, keep throwing those spells around. The other Sam moves forward, kills the Mediator once again. 166 damage jump. Sorry about that, now I have to lower the uh, volume of my cell phone. Count Flood. Another 66% stop, the time is in a very good position to uh, do that. Double sleep proc. Ouch. So far, Durian Toki's coming back with some status effects. Another count of flood there. Oh, frog proc. That really hurts right now. Carbunko to get back some uh, MP. So yeah, after a little bit of back and forth, it looks like Darian Toki's gonna be taking round one for sure. Let's see, Katuya's gonna go for a race two onto the samurai, the frog samurai. Oh, it missed. Dull, oh, it missed. Mimic Derivon misses. Yeah, the ninja can't really do much. Scar's gonna go for an bio 2 once again. Regenerator. Katua's gonna go for another race 2 on a ninja. She might get she is gonna get jumped on though, so she's gonna die. Raise 2 is going to resolve first, however. Ninja gets up. Mediator goes for Kiku. This the armor break hits. Making sure that um, her Kiku is not as powerful anymore. Bio 2. Auto Potion once again. Yeah, I don't think Darian Tokens is going to be losing this one by a long shot. Pays two once again. More Mimic Derivon. Sleeps the ninja. The yeah, Eternal is still stuck in quite a heavy sandbag mode right now. And Darian Toki will be taking round one for sure. Seventy-seven damage Kiku. 249 damage jump. Another jump's coming up. And this should be it. Yes, it is. So, Dorian Toki wins round one. I will see you for round two. Round two between Eternal and Dorian Toki. We're going to be going to map 32, Slums and Daughter. See, our CL is going to move forward. Triple panel of haste. And a. Pod, and we're going to get in the range of haste too. Eustan moving forward. Kiku. Out of potion, no counter flood. And Drix. No counter flood from the ninja either. 
Aitomi Maga is gonna go for Quake. Kobe Ram is gonna go for Masamune. Haste in Region. Haste 2. Okay, Counter Flood. Not that it would do much, but no matter. High Potion to the Ninja, who does get a turn. Weapon Break hits, but it's gonna trigger an MA save, though. Demi 2, maybe? Possibly? We'll find out. Stop. Just gonna stand for the go for Kikiku. Oh, ooh. Great. And a Counter Flood. Tell me not gonna go for it looks like another quake spell. Hobie Rem's gonna move forward, gonna go for Heaven's Cloud. Demi 2 missing both the uh both both the uh, time age and the mediator. His quake. See X potion on the time age, so Eternal would be wise to uh, bring back the ninja as quick as he can. And that's exactly what she's going for right now. Jaquita's gonna go for another haste too. Ninja gets up from a raise too. That's a good sign for Etern Eternal. Hobby Ren's gonna move forward. Not do much. I don't know why he's not attacking. Oh, he figured the Quake's gonna out heal the uh, damage done anyways. Maybe that's what it was. X Potion on a Katua who gets a turn. Gonna go for a Demi 2 onto the Scholar. Question is, will it hit? No, it won't, because Sinkhole is gonna cancel the spell. I'll be rimmed. Crit on an Immediator. Android projects to go for Chuck. Oh no, she's gonna go for a kill on the Time Age instead. And the Archer kills, uh. Double Weapon Break misses. Raise 2 on an Immediator. Hits. Jaquinta's gonna go for 67% stop. Misses. It's a good sign for Eternal. Phoenix down once again. 137 damage onto the Time Age. Tominaga actually ran out of MP. Darkness proc. Okay. Double weapon break misses. Should have gone for the kill instead. That immediate that time age was in uh let's see, should have go for like another stop proc. Well it hit though, that's the question. And no, it misses. Getting another close call for Eternal. Andre and Drake's gonna go for poke onto the um this, yeah, on, on, onto the time age, Eternal's time age. Okay, so now we're at even three on three. Dragon Spirit onto the monk. Poke, no counter flood. Ooh, Petrify proc. Good job for good job from uh, Eternal here. That ninja's gonna force to run away for a little while. Unfortunately, he dies. Chakra. Darian Toki is kind of uh, on the run right now. Sounds proc on the mediator. Ice Ice 3 proc. So good job there. It is right now 2 on 2 still. If the Archer could just resurrect that Time Age, that'd be good. Or just kill the Monk, either way. Another Ice 3 proc. Eternal got extremely lucky that time. So now it's, uh, yeah. That Meteor can't do anything. So now it's 2 on 1 and Eternal's gonna be tying this one up. Another 165 damage. The only thing that Meteor can do is just, well, she can just punch, really. More MA save. Samurai grabbing a crystal. And Immediate is grabbing a crystal, so it's right now two on one. And Internal's favor here. Damage split. Another Ice 3 proc. 
turns getting extremely lucky. And good job, ET. You tie this one up. We'll go into a round three. All right, tiebreaker between Eternal and Durian Toki. We're going to be going to map 81, Grog Hill. Who's going to be taking the tiebreaker in this one? This has been an exciting series of matches between these two. And now, this match is going to determine who is truly the better team. Alright, so far people are moving forward, not doing much. 291 damage jump. Holy shit, that's gonna hurt. See how Rim's gonna move forward. Stop on the time age. Earth Dragon. Auto Potion, good thing on her part. Another Auto Potion. So that Archer is surviving right now. At least one, uh, one round of the jump. Ninja's still moving forward, just got stam. It's gonna go for Mimic Derivon. Misses them both. That's gonna buy Eternal at least a chance. Okay, another stop rod's coming up. If Eternal can actually um, redirect the spell, it could help out. We'll find out. No, but he gets stopped instead. Dragon Spirit. Hyper Rin's gonna move forward. MA save. Kiku drops the time age, and I think that this one's gonna be going to Durian Toki on this one. Yeah, there's pretty much almost no way that um, Turner's gonna be able to recover from this kind of an onslaught. Not when it's already a four on one early. Stop proc misses, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much at this point. Heaven's Cloud for a measly 63 damage. Damage split. Stop hits. So yeah, now all you're really gonna do is pretty much just pick apart that samurai, and it will be GG. So that's it. Dorian Toki wins. GG.